But I do not think Century's going to be a part of it. I hope he is. Oh, yeah, me too. I think if they... they he's yeah. got... See, I like him more than Wonder Man because he's flawed. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's super powered, but he's got major flaws. Mm -hmm. Where Wonder Man seems very white bread. Yeah. He's got nuts. Wonder bread? <laughs> he's got nuts. <laughs> he's got nuts. <laughs> he's got a million nuts. <laughs> raging, fiery sun nuts <laughs> is the century. He's got nuts. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the opening for this episode. Wonder Man is white bread, Wonder Bread, and and Sentry's got flaming sun nuts, a million of them. Oh my God. Three, two, one. It's all over. Gamers and geeks, welcome to episode twenty-four of Ogre. Old Guys Geekly Review. I'm here with my good buddy Nick, and I have missed Nick. Nick has been away for a little bit. Sickness and holidays and all kinds of crazy stuff. Man, below freezing temperatures, negative 65. That that was insane. Yeah. They're just so cold here. So cold. Yeah, so we had big, big negatives. Negative 65 is what it got down to. Yeah, with, uh, with the wind chill. I think... Uh, Without the wind chill, well, it was I negative had, fifty at least. Without, yeah, I had to go out in it, and my car was saying about negative forty. God, your car is like, get back, get back in there, get back in there. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I just, I just had a kid stay in the car the whole time we was running because we had to go to their, um, our eye appointments. Oh, and okay. yeah, it was just, uh, there was no way I was gonna shut that car off. I didn't know mm -hmm. if I'd get it started again. I'm surprised you got it started anyway. Just, <laughs> oh man, that, that was cold. So what? what how was your Christmas? Oh, I, you know, it was just Sarah and I, and it was it was lovely. I didn't have any family drama or anything, so it was, uh, it was just a nice, relaxing. Uh, I baked a ham, nice, and we we watched a bunch of stuff. We opened gifts, and sounds like a it was great, a great Christmas. time. It was. It was. What was we your had... favorite present? Ooh, well, I did get my computer upgrade. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I picked up a, a new PC, so I should be able to run everything. The the one game that I really wanted to play this year on PC, but it was just too janky on my old machine, was Tower of Fantasy. Okay. And so I loaded it up. It plays beautifully, so I'm I'm real happy. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. So uh, so that's probably. Uh, you know, new PC. It's a it's a new world. Oh, I got yeah. oh, I yeah. got so many machines now. It's it's gonna be video game heaven. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, what about you? Uh, what did I get? I got I got this hoodie. I got the Deadpool hoodie. Nice. And then uh oh, Deadpool's all <laughs> displayed <laughs> yeah. for for everybody's you could teach anatomy off that thing. Yes you could. Uh, I got a dance mat, uh for Dance Dance Revolution, so I'll be able nice. to get my cardio in. That's the only cardio I ever enjoyed. That's what Sarah does. Mm -hmm. She's on the dance games all the time yeah. when she wants to work out. So whatever gets you moving. Yeah, yeah. I like I like my weightlifting for anaerobic. I like my dance dance revolution for aerobic. There we go. Yeah, and I yeah. I've got the treadmill set up for and that's where I watch like ninety percent of my anime and stuff. Yeah, it's, dude, you got good you got good setup. I like your setup. It, it keeps me moving. <laughs> keeps me moving. Well, should we hop into it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's hop into movies. 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 Have you watched anything? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, uh, it's all TV. <laughs> all TV. Never mind. I, I was there. I, I just picked up Netflix again. Did so you? we, we've been talking about how to navigate the streaming services. Yeah. So I try. I don't want to hook up my credit card to Netflix because I had some issues with the last one where somebody had found my account and mm. then, you know, after talking to them a couple of times, it just seemed to keep happening. Yeah. So I picked up a gift card and right. that was a bad idea because Netflix doesn't allow you to get like a gift card where you can just get a month at a time. Yeah. I think you were talking about that. Yeah. And, that, and that's ridiculous. Yeah. That's weird. So I got a prepaid visa. And that worked fine. Mm -hmm. So I can, if I just want a month, I can spend part of that visa on that and right. the rest of it on other things. And even though Netflix has, they've gotten rid of the the tier that I liked, which was the ten dollar, uh, like single streaming mm -hmm. platform tier, because it's just Sarah and I. We don't we don't need multiple screens on at the same time. Uh, but now they've got the ad service one. Oh yeah. And the next tier is the. 1550 tier which 1550 is very suspect netflix why are you doing this to people because the lowest gift card you can get is 30 
which means you can still only, on a thirty dollar uh, gift card, you can still only get one month. Yeah. Because it's fifteen fifty, not fifteen, fifteen fifty. Netflix. I know, I know, Netflix, dude, dude. But yeah, Netflix is. Uh, we got that for the month, and so I'm catching up on all that. And yeah. There's, there's several movies I'm going to be watching on that. Well, so. I heard The Witcher Blood Origin is uh is got like very very low reviews. Uh, I was. It is getting slightly review bombed, but mm. the critic reviews are also low. Okay. Um, so there's definitely a lot of people backlash with uh, the Henry Cavill stuff. Yeah. Uh, but the critics aren't happy with it either. So mm. yeah, I'm I'm going to watch. We just finished Wednesday, and I'm going to watch that yeah, next. Just, oh yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. Yeah, when, when we get, when to we get TV. into TV. But as far as movies go, I haven't watched any movies this week. But I'll have like Glass Onion yeah. and a couple of others next week. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've watched. Uh, nope. The oh Jordan yeah, Peele. how was that? I dug it. It was it was pretty good as far as this, uh. uh well, like his whole offering of movies, mm. his his uh his uh charcuterie of movies is uh, that that was a shout out to to Dylan because I know he likes his charcuteries. But anyway, um, it was good, but I don't think it was my favorite by far. I liked uh, Keanu and mm. Get Out more. Um, and I know he's got a few other movies that I haven't seen, but uh, still enjoyable. Still, still a Jordan Peele mo- movie. Yeah, I I think he's just brilliant. Uh, Glass Onion, I did watch. Oh, okay, you watched Glass Onion. Okay, I feel... so I, I don't have to give a review of it next week. I can just watch it. Well, I'm, I'm just going to give a, a little short and sweet sentence. Okay. Uh, lightning struck twice. Nice. No, I put lightning done struck twice. Done struck twice. Done struck twice. Done struck twice. Can you do good. the Daniel Craig Southern accent and say that? No, because that'll sound like Foghorn Leghorn, <laughs> I bet. Glass, <laughs> <Right>. yeah. <laughs> Lightning done struck twice. There you go. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> um, and then Violent Night with David Harbour. Ah, yes. The John Wick, Nobody, Die Hard, Christmas, Santa Claus, Beat Ass movie. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. It'll be on my list every year. Got a new uh, something to double double watch with Die Hard. Die Hard and yeah. Violent Christmas. There you go. But it's uh, extremely bloody. Mm. Extremely gory. You might not You might not dig it. Yeah, it may not be for me if it's too bloody. Uh, but the, yeah, all those all those I watched, all those I, I really enjoyed, I'd recommend uh, a watch for all of them. All right, let's move into the news. Okay, so um, there's a Death Stranding movie in the works. Oh, yeah, I did hear something about that. I didn't. I don't have any details, though. What's going on with it? I don't think I really have that many details either. I just oh, think just they the, announced it's it. there. Yeah. What do you know? What company? What service? It is going to be Kojima is going to be directly involved. Oh, that's right, because he's got his own production company yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, but who's paying for the production? Amazon or Netflix? Or... That I don't know yet. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um. Nor and and uh, you know Norman Reedus will jump into that. He's uh, joined oh, yeah. the cast of the ballerina movie, John's the the John Wick spinoff movie. Oh, okay. With Anna De Armas. Um, Marvel is considering major changes for Phase 5 and 6, focusing more on quality uh, instead of quantity. I, I'm not surprised by that, but at the same time, I'm I'm wondering if it's just PR talk. I hope not, because I, like, I feel like the quality has gone down a little bit. I, I think you may be right, but I also haven't heard them canceling anything to do the quantity, the quality over quantity. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of any cancellations either. Yeah. I know I've heard of delays. As a matter of fact, uh, in the rumor section, the rumor is, uh, uh, and this would go counterintuitive to the quality over quantity, they've greenlit uh, Eternals too. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> so, got... so it may just be PR talk. I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, I do. Man, I got so many rumors. I'm excited for the rumors. This oh, week. good, good. <laughs> um, Rush Hour Four will start filming this year. Really, which, yeah, Rush I'm, Hour? I'm, oh man, yeah. I love that. I'm super uh, excited. Chris Tucker back with it. Yep. And oh, Jackie Chan. Good, good, good. Uh, Netflix is making a live action My Hero Academia movie. Mm. That I. <sighs> I'm wondering what this because the the anime live action can really there's not a whole lot of that that's stellar. A lot of that is is kind of well. The one that I did like, they canceled it. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> this is actually good. Yeah. We, we can't have this being shown anywhere. What what about our reputation? Yeah, the world ain't ready for this. <laughs> who who'll watch regular anime now? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we'll see. What I, they call I, that? I'm they call it, to... Is that real washing it? <laughs> <laughs> 
I like that term. <laughs> you heard it here first on Ogre, real washing. It's a cultural phenomenon. Um, take this with a grain of salt, but some sites are reporting that Josh Brolin is returning as Cable in uh, Deadpool 3. Um, but it hasn't been updated on IMDb mm. yet. I, I really, because I'm, well, you know, I'm obsessed with Deadpool, so I, oh, yeah, I went yeah. searching. Uh, have you ever seen that movie Election, my like early 2000s movie with Matthew Broderick, um, uh, what's her face, Reese Witherspoon, where, the, where there's like a high school election and he just sabotages it? I think I have. I think I have, but it's been so long, yeah. Fun fact about that movie, that movie, part of that movie was filmed like minutes away from my house that I lived. Really? Like, yeah, oh, I lived okay. it. Um, so you can like see you in the background? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it was, uh, it's, it's actually a power station that was located right behind Oh, okay. Me. Yeah. Um, but Tracy Flick Can't Win is going to be a sequel coming. Oh. And, uh, it's got Reese Witherspoon reprising the role, so. Wow. Yeah. Um, some more, some DC moves. My God. Yeah, DC. Oh, man. Talk about all the DC stuff. Yeah. Change, change, change. Yeah. Everything is changing. Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of excited to see where it goes, but man, this, there's. This year is going to be weird because basically all f- Four of the fran the movie franchises coming out like uh, you- there's probably not going to be sequels. They're probably just kind of like dead in the water, Lost. and who who knows if they're even going to have yeah any kind of wrap up. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm looking forward to the year after when DC starts to get whatever this new direction is going. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sorry, I interrupted. What oh no, 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 you're fine. Uh, Jason Momoa stepped down from Aquaman. Yes, a- Aquaman. I even though it. he does have an Aquaman movie coming out. Yeah. So he's, you know, in a way, he is done, but the movie hasn't come out yet. Right. And uh, I, I I feel like our rumors are going to be true. They're going to bring him back as Lobo. Oh, yeah. I hope yeah. so. Yeah, that, that seems to be the thing. Uh, Wonder Woman 3 has been canceled. Yep. Uh, Gal Gadot will return to the Fast and Furious family. Oh, yeah. I heard, uh, I saw the, the preview for that, but I didn't hear the details. So it's that's cool. pretty much like the longest. She died on the longest runway on Earth. If oh. you remember correctly. No. no. I, I don't even know if I've cut all the Fast and Furious movies. Uh, and then my last bit of movie news is Evil Dead Rise used over 1,700 gallons of fake blood. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Oh, God, I can't, <laughs> I can't wait. I just can't wait. That had to be one sticky set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a lot of showers going on in that, in that, <laughs> that production. Lots of showers. Oh, yeah. Should we move into television? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, or or do you I, got, actually, you got I actually news? do have some movie news. Um, looks like Susan Sarandon is going to be the main villain in the new Blue Beetle movie for DC. Okay. Um, but, you know, DC is... Who knows what's going to go on with that. Uh, interesting to DC's form is the fact that she made her... She's making her first... The character, not Susan Sarandon. The character that Susan Sarandon is playing is making her first comic book appearance... Like this month. Oh, really? Yeah. So the the character from the movies is coming to the comics before the movies, but was created in the movies. So mm-hmm. what? However, that works. Uh, and speaking of uh, the new DC era, James Gunn and Jim Lee have formed a partnership uh, to make sure that the comic books and the movies are closer tied together than previously. Oh. Where the, Feige on Marvel is special because he came from the comic book place Mm -hmm. and carried that into the movies right uh where dc it's been very separate and dc between the tv shows the movies and the comics have never really jived together they've never really coalesced and it looks like james gunn is trying to change that good good because i mean it i feel like it worked really good for marvel like oh yeah it's probably one of my favorite parts about and and the comic books and the movies don't mirror each other Mm -hmm. but they definitely take notes from each other and even the movies are definitely inspired by comic book stories and have, even though they do them in different ways, have very specific events that happen in the movies that happened in the comics. Uh, I keep thinking of Thor Ragnarok, where Hela was really a amalgamation of two characters mm. instead of just one. And, and that, was, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So excited to hear what's going to happen there. And the last bit of movie news I got is uh, we don't know if it's a movie or a TV show yet, but Henry Cavill is going to be leading up Warhammer 40K. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I have that in the 
I think I have that in the the TV news. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We're not sure if it's a TV or yeah. movie, but so the thing I'm excited about the most about that is they haven't picked a writer, they mm-hmm. haven't picked a director, they picked a fan actor first. Yeah, he was available. They grabbed him, and much like a lot of people are, uh, you know, angry with The Witcher about. It sounds like they're going to go with he will, in a sense, be the creative force, or at least a very powerful creative force behind what's actually going to happen. Yeah, it, well, if Netflix's statement is to be believed, that could be disastrous. Oh. I'll, I'll go into that Interesting. when we get to TV. Okay. But yeah, they released a statement about him. Huh. Well, that's that's what I've got for uh, t- new movie news other than the box office. Yeah, so hit, hit me with the box office. So uh, we have Avatar. It's the big thing in the box office right now. It should pass a billion dollars today or tomorrow. I think it already did. Oh, it did today? Morning. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Avatar officially has a, a billion dollars in the bank worldwide. And it, it's 12 days of being out? Yeah, it was really quick. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Yeah, we were worried. We were worried that it was. Oh, yeah. Because it has to make three trillion to, to make profit billion or three three billion yeah three, billion three trillion yeah. <laughs> mm. that's, a, that's, a, that's a mighty mighty high movie level there uh even though i wouldn't put it past james cameron these days yeah that's know, dr I mean, evil numbers yeah. <laughs> uh yeah no that's crazy though there are, i mean i was i was worried that it wasn't gonna make it and in 12 days it's already made a third of what it needs to yeah a billion dollars. Maybe I'll actually go see it. Yeah. I just, I just, I can't hold my water that long. I <laughs> know. Yeah. Uh, three hours and something. Uh, on the other side, we've got um, a well reviewed movie, Puss in Boots. Yeah. The animated version, uh, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, is apparently pretty good. So I, I'm looking forward to catching that at some point. You know, I liked all the Shrek movies and I liked the first Puss in Boots, Boots movie. I actually liked the series on Netflix too. Yeah. And that kind of goes back to something we mentioned a couple of podcasts ago about where Universal is actually beating Disney on mm-hmm. the animation side uh, with just solid releases. Yeah. And this is another one. Yeah. But there wasn't a lot of hype around this because i like when you right when, when you said that, that like the this podcast is where i heard it yeah because of you and but it it got the number two movie in the box office uh, avatar was number one puss and boots number two what's the competition though uh, really... babylon which tanked big time huge star power lots yeah. of cameos looking for lots of academy awards and boy did it it yeah, they did not bring in the people, which is basically the theme for 2022 mm-hmm. is if your audience, if you're making a movie that's skewed for an older audience, you just forget about it. Yeah. I mean, unless it's like horror or sci-fi fantasy superhero, mm. you just just forget about it. Yeah. Man. And then uh, next weekend, this weekend coming up, we have uh, Tom Hanks and A Man Called Otto. A Man Called what? Otto. 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 O-T-T-O? O-T-T-O. Okay. Otto. 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 <laughs> <laughs> a man called Otto. When does Whale come out? The Whale? It's already out. It's been Is out. It? Yeah. I thought, okay, so I did, like, man, I know it had a um, a limited release. Is it out on streaming? I don't think it's out on streaming, but I could be wrong about that. Okay, I'll have to look it up. I saw the I saw another trailer for it. It hit theaters already. Did it? Okay. It may have been a limited release, but it's been in theaters. All right. Yeah, I mean, that, that trailer alone made me tear up, dude. That was crazy. Yeah. The reviews on Whale are uh, not as not as good as they could have been. I mean, yeah. You know, it's it's uh, not horrible, but it's not as much as I would hope that the reviews for a Brendan Fraser movie are, are really good. It mm. wasn't that high, so. Poop. I, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, so I can't give my own evaluation. Yeah, and that's all I've got for movies. I was heading to television. Television. All right, so I watched. Uh, I finished watching all of Rick and Morty. Um, okay. Besides the reality shows that I'm forced to watch at Wife Point. <laughs> reality yeah. shows. Um, <laughs> um, I don't have any of that around here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you watch a reality show, and your whole household's a reality show, so you never pretty, get out of it. Pretty much. You never get out of it. Pretty much. You get it. You got drama all over. <laughs> I the do. Place. I do. Um. But Rick and Morty season six, much better than season five. Um, can't nice. wait to get back to it. Like I can't wait for season seven to come out because it looks like they're going to um, bring back the story like of Evil Morty and the original mm. Rick and stuff. So can't wait, can't wait to see where that's going to go from now. Nice. And the, but that's all I've watched really, besides okay. Too Hot to Handle on Netflix, which was <laughs> terrible. But give there was... us your review of Too Hot to Handle. 
butt cheeks. <laughs> it, like a, a one and a half butt cheek review. <laughs> there, no, there was good butt cheeks. There was bad butt cheeks. Um, lots of butt cheeks. Lots on of that butt show. cheeks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I watched uh, quite a bit of stuff. Uh, watched the new National Treasure series. How was that? Not. <laughs> it doesn't have Nicolas Cage, so it doesn't have the Cage Factor. Yeah. So uh, it was, it was okay. Okay. It felt like that they weren't taking enough high level risks. Mm. So like the movies were about historical things in a fictitious way that you absolutely knew, and the TV show seemed about historical things that you had no idea existed that you really didn't care about. Ah. So yeah. it was kind of like, I, they, I don't think they shot high enough with the, the premises. Okay. Um, not bad. Um, definitely a... Yeah, it definitely no cage. No. Definitely no cage. Okay. Yeah. A much, a much nicer, homogenistic, mm. diverse world, so... No cage. No cage. Uh, then that brings us back to um, the the Witcher is coming out on the twenty fifth. Uh, but I did watch Wednesday. Watched all of Wednesday. Yeah, fin- finished it up. I I enjoyed it. I did too. Um, I didn't enjoy it. I think as much as Sarah, mm. because there really wasn't anybody in the cast that I identified with. That yeah. I, that I felt connected to. What about like, the hide? Oh, the. Hide. <laughs> 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 no, no, he he turned much easier. I turn into Hyde. You know, I've got a very, very long fuse. Yeah. And then I turn into Hyde. Yeah. But, you know, his fuse is much shorter. <laughs> <laughs> so, so actually, he was the character that I probably identified the most with. But um, I think Fester. Is oh, the one really? That I Fester. Identified. I don't know. <laughs> actually, I think Fester might have been my least favorite character out of all of them. I I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but it. I think if. If you're somebody like like Sarah who can really identify with one of the characters, it'd be great. Yeah. And so I, you know, Wednesday, mm. I, I give it a thumbs up. Definitely check it out. Yeah. Uh, Willow continues to be good. Continues to be excellent, really. I, I'm enjoying Willow a hell of a lot. Yeah, I can't get my family to sit down and watch the damn thing. Oh man, that is that is a tragedy. Yeah. Tragedy. Sad. Well, I'm I'm about to stop waiting. You know what they did? And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going off a little bit here. Yeah, they yeah. start watching JoJo season three without me. What? Yeah, yeah. I and, came and downstairs. You, you were so good waiting for them for stuff. Exactly. I came downstairs. I was like, "Oh, you guys are watching JoJo's." I was like, "Yeah, it's only season two. I was like, "Bullshit!" I watched season two with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's only season two. He he like this know. season, he this won't season, know the difference. Yeah. <laughs> this season three, ain't it? How many hours you in? Four hours. Oh, oh my cool. god. Oh my god. <laughs> Cool. Glad I stayed up all night wrapping your presents. <laughs> Do me like this on JoJo. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Uh, oh, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. amazing. But anyway, I'll probably watch Willow. <laughs> that's my point. I'll watch Willow. What's up? I I've really enjoyed Willow. I've really enjoyed Willow. You'll you'll enjoy it too. It's it's. I'm glad they didn't take the standard, just dark fantasy route there yeah. there is the humor and stuff woven in sometimes it's very cringeworthy humor oh, but yeah. it is nice to to have just that break sometimes all right uh, we got two good shows uh coming up this week we've got kaleidoscope which is a crime drama with uh, giancarlo esposito january oh, yeah. 1st that yeah. hits damn yeah that's just coming up in a few days and then we got uh, on the fourth what i'm really looking forward to is season two of star wars bad batch yeah, yeah, that yeah. came up fast. It's gonna, it's gonna be sixteen weeks. Mm. Um, so very nice, and I, I love season one. Just some, some great Star Wars stuff. Mm-hmm. Not as good as Andor, but Andor. I don't think Andor anything is as good as no, Andor. Is I it? I, no. I, Andor was so solid from beginning to end. Oh mm. man. Man, anyway, that's what I got for TV. All right, let's go on to my news for TV. Yeah, uh, Invincible season two hits Prime Video this year. Good. Can't wait. Uh, the Umbrella Academy's fourth and final season will only be six episodes. Yeah, yeah, I did hear about that. And that, I, I have to say, <clears throat> Netflix, thank you for not just canceling. Thank you for at least giving them a chance to wrap it up, because you don't do that enough. Mm-hmm. And it, that whole thing was created by the singer to My Chemical Romance? Was that him? I, I know want, there's a... I want to say yes, but I, I don't know for certain, but I, that sounds right. Okay. I don't know if it's My Chemical Romance, but I know a singer for a band 
uh, created I, the whole thing. I'm pretty sure you're right, okay. but I, I can't remember who exactly now. Um, Netflix canceled Blockbuster back in the 90s. And now I cancel them again. <laughs> double cancellation. <laughs> Netflix, double cancellation move. All right, so here's the Henry Cavill spiel. Okay. Okay, so Henry Cavill has been uncast as Superman, and will now focus on a Warhammer. I think it, I think maybe I did read that it was a series. I'm not sure, though, so we'll, I, we'll throw that up What I read is it's, it's not decided whether it's going to be movie or series. Okay. Um, rumor has it Netflix wanted to fire him from The Witcher because he wanted total control over The Witcher's storylines. Okay. And that he was causing a lot of problems between the writers and the creative team. Well, judging by how well their spinoff is going, they may maybe should have kept him in his opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no joke. Yeah, considering their uh, their original spinoff mm. is uh, not doing very well. Um, yeah, yeah. May, maybe they should have kept him. Maybe that, That's kind of proof positive that maybe they don't know what the hell they're talking about yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. Sucks for Netflix. Oh, yeah. Uh, God of War live action series has been ordered uh, from Amazon. Yes. Um, I read a little bit about where they're going to focus that, and now I, I, I wish I'd written it down because... Uh, well, there's a lot of video game adaptations coming out. Yeah. A hell of a lot, because we've got Gears of War stuff coming to Netflix. we got God of War. Mm-hmm. We've got... Um, Which the War God Game. of War stuff, I don't think they've cast anybody. No, they haven't yet. I think it's just in the... A lot of people want Christopher Judge casted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? Yeah, uh, the Echo Disney Plus series has been delayed, and the current slate seems very messy. And I hope they can clean it up fast, so there's a better sense of direction to the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, man, apparently Blade just really screwed everything yeah. up with with that. I mean, and that's part of the problem with them keeping a consistent timeline is if something goes wrong in the cogs of the the process, then it it just messes everything up. Yeah. And Echo is going to lead directly into Daredevil, mm-hmm. so and that one yeah. starts filming February sixth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they got they they got under some pressure. Yeah, they do, lots of pressure. Uh, the Walking Dead Dead City spinoff is coming up next year, which I'll probably end up watching because it's got Negan in it. Okay, and let's see, Wonder Man has been added to the Disney Plus slate for the twenty three twenty four season. Yeah, yeah. Um... I wonder if that's part of the quality or the quantity. I'm hoping it's the quality. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what we're all. But I don't know for. much about Wonder Man. I don't like. Oh. I know very little about him. Honestly, he to me he was never really a very interesting character because he's basically um, to me he was very two dimensional. He didn't have any Marvel's characters. I think resonate because they all tend to have flaws, mm-hmm. and Wonder Man didn't. He was a very kind of just strong, decent Superman type character. Actually even Superman has weakness versus Kryptonite. Wonder Man doesn't have any kind of like thing like that. His own vainness. He was vain. Yeah. But Hawkeye was already vain and Hawkeye <laughs> didn't have any superpowers, so the whole vain character in the Avengers was already taken in the comics. Hmm. But maybe they can make him interesting. Yeah. Hopefully. I, I've been proven wrong before. I mean look at Marvel and how well they did with they only had second tier characters anyway when they started the whole franchise. Yeah. Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America were all backlist, B list characters at the time. Really? And, yeah, oh yeah. Hell They're yeah. B list characters? They Who were A list. Uh, A list was X Men. Okay. Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, and that was pretty much it. Those were those were the big ones. X Men and... At the time? Yeah, at the time. Damn. I guess man, I was out of the loop. Pretty pretty good. Cause I well, I mean, I wasn't a big fan no. of the Avengers when all that stuff started happening. So I, yeah. I desperately wish that it was an X Men movie instead. Yeah, Spider Man was the the big Marvel draw, like Batman was to DC. Yeah, yeah. And the X Men was the big team that everybody followed. Mm-hmm. Um, Avengers was kind of like the second. You know, they'd been around for a while and they kept them around, but there yeah. wasn't really a whole lot going on with them. Yeah, they were like your your grandfather's superhero <laughs> team. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? We got oh, last last bit of news I got is what we do in the shadows. Season five has wrapped filming. Nice. Yeah. So I oh, man, I can't wait for that. Yeah, I, I really need to catch up on that one. Yeah, I love that show. All right, let's move into anime if you're ready. Nice, nice. So I uh, in the last podcast, which wasn't that great because I didn't have Nick with me, I went over the anime that I uh, I thought was the best for the year. So this time I'm going to go over the 
the anime that is coming up this this season. So we're getting on January 4th, January 3rd, the new anime season starts. Heck yeah. And so we're going to play the anime game. All right. So I've been waiting for this. So I, I've picked images you for... Really put them in card sleeves and yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. We're not going over all these. So I, I made a an image card sleeve so I could keep track <clears throat> of all the different animes. And there's like 50 coming out for the winter. But we're not going to go over all 50 of them. These are just the ones that I'm most excited about. It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. You pretty much <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I'm going to give Nick a picture, mm -hmm. and he's going to tell me what he thinks the plot of it is, and then I'll tell him what the anime is, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So let's, let's start off with this one. Let's start off with this one. All right, let's see it. Oop. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That is, a, is that a hamster turtle? <laughs> it's an armadillo. It's okay. an armadillo. <laughs> Those things can give you leprosy. <laughs> well, that's not the worst of the problems going on here. <laughs> well, there's a vampire. Yeah. And there's a guy, a ballerina in, in the back. I don't know. Doesn't, Are they doesn't just... the guy kind of look like uh, uh, Castlevania? Um... <laughs> like Cross with Sesame Street. Uh -huh, yeah. Are they holding tambourines? <laughs> what the <laughs> What is this? Okay, this, let me this, know. this is the vampire dies in no time. So basically, imagine Castlevania, but instead of Dracula being like a big bad, mm -hmm. this guy is like super weenie vampire. Like everything <laughs> kills him, and he just kind of like resurrects. Oh my god! And uh, the <laughs> the vampire hunter ends up destroying his castle, and so the vampire ends up moving into his office. And <laughs> <laughs> that can be fun. It it is it is pretty fun. The one thing I can say about this for the first season is it's one of the few anime that the dub was worse than the sub for me. Oh yeah. I normally enjoy the dubs. Wait, so this is all... oh no no this is like a a new season. Of this it. is season two. Okay, season two is coming out. Madhouse is producing it. It's a comedy. So the vampire dies in no time. Season two, that's uh, it's definitely one to check out if you're looking for a comedy. But so you'd right. recommend the sub over the dub. I would recommend well mostly the dub. The uh, the actor who does the English voiceover for the vampire tries too hard, uh, and you can't really understand what he's saying because he's playing such a thick accent. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so that's what the kids these days call. Extra. 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 He's very extra. Whoa. What is that? Is that a giant? <laughs> oh, that's a leash. Okay. That's a collar and a leash. A collar and a leash. All right. We're getting started. On the right. Resurrected as a dog. The <laughs> yep. guy's resurrected yep. as a dog. Yeah. It, is it? It is an eshy comedy about a, a dude who is resurrected as a, a dog. And since it's eshy, of course, there's going to be a lot of upskirt shots yeah. and all that. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of panty shots in this thing. So my life as uh, Inukia's dog. Nice. Yeah. 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 I just, it was the angle. Yeah. Oh, See, yeah. That, just the, the way it was drawn. All right, here's Good cover one. art. All right, let's see here. Chase me in the garden and taste my tomatoes. <laughs> with my wolves and guy with the sickle in the background. Uh, fantasy garden. I don't know. It, it, there is actually two of these arriving in this season, which is basically anime based on somebody being a superior farmer or cooker. And it... <laughs> It's based farming life in another world. So it's an Esekai oh where he God. comes in as this like super farmer. Um, yeah, so I know why that one got greenlit. Well, it's a harem. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a harem. <laughs> it's a harem farming anime. God, if only I, yeah. if I was a farmer, I feel like I could appreciate that a little bit more. All right, let's see here. Holy mackerel! There's... Okay, so fantasy giant weird looking turtle. Uh, God, I don't know. Look, look, it kind of reminds me of like a Pokemon-ish type deal. This is Bofuri. I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. Okay. So it's basically this this girl who it's her first time playing an MMO, uh -huh. and, but she doesn't really like the fighting aspect. So she gets like super powered by maxing out her defense for nobody can hurt her. Tanking. It, yeah, it's it's a super comedy. It's season two of that, and the first season was excellent. Okay. 
Very, very good stuff. <clears throat> I know you'll have comments about this one. You'll know exactly oh, what that is. Oh, shit. To be or not to be. There's yeah, no question. There is no question. Yeah, Nier Automata is getting its anime. Definitely looking forward to that. That's coming out soon. Yeah, that's this this season. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this season Damn. coming out. Yeah, uh, I can't wait for that. There you go. I love Nier. I love 2B. <clears throat> Holy mackerel. This one looks like... 2D. <laughs> two, <laughs> two F. <laughs> two double Ds. Uh, sexy bakery that doesn't know she's sexy. Uh, close. close. Oh. <clears throat> uh, this is chilling in my 30s after getting fired from the Demon King's army. Wow. I, mean, I don't feel like I was close at all. <laughs> yeah, so basically, uh, dude gets fired. And this is a whole genre of anime right now. <clears throat> where um, an adventurer mm. gets fired from whatever hero party, demon lord army, whatever, and has to kind of restart his life. But he's like super skilled and powerful anyway. So whatever, you know, whatever reason they got rid of him, you know. I'm gonna apply it to cakes. Yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> this is this is another one of those. Uh, I, I mentioned this one just briefly. Wow. Oh, is this the slime? The no, God, okay. Oh, it's the other farming. Yeah, one. it's the instead of farming, it's the campfire cooking in another world with my absurd skill. Yeah, that's the title. And it's a harem too, right? Uh, I don't know that this one's a harem. I just saw, I just saw all the girls up the top there. Oh well, it probably is then. Yeah, it probably is. But yeah, campfire cooking in another world with my absurd skill. That's the title. Nice. Uh, this one is it Trigun. No. No, Trigun's not in my top list. Uh, Even though I'm going to watch it, it's just not in the ones I'm really excited about. Either it's about Assassin School or it's a super duper serious chess club. It is Spy Classroom and it's a harem, uh, harem espionage kind of thing. Okay. And last one, uh, season two for that. <clears throat> this looks like Costco version of My Dress Up Darling. Uh, where my dress up darling was a rom com with actual, uh, you know, progression and feelings and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is one of those rom coms where the girl just like picks him the guy nonstop and makes fun of him and abuses him. And, and, but it's, and, you know, she, she acts like an elementary schooler would act, you know, uh -huh. like, pulling pigtails and, and all that stuff, you know, basically, uh, being mean to the, the person you like. And just know, no uh like story oh no it, it, it's really good and uh, at least i hope so this is second season for it uh don't toy with me miss nagatoro and um it's a comedy it's a, okay it's a comedy rom-com but not i don't know it, there's just a completely different flavor than what my dress up darling has okay because because of the whole uh almost abusive nature of the relationship yeah <clears throat> But th those are the ones that I'm really excited about. We've got a, a whole other big stack yeah, of yeah. stuff to go through here. Holy crap. Yeah, so this is that's all the Hen and Nick, the big stack of Jeez. stuff. That's that all the anime stack. hitting for winter starting January 3rd. And it's uh, it's going to be a fun time. So um, next podcast, I'll give you the, the breakdown on the big hits for the week coming up. And then... Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's another uh, something triangle. Um, there's another uh, Sekai um, coming out. So I'll, I'll give you the, the hits for the next couple of weeks about what anime is, is coming up, and we'll have a good time with all that. Yeah. I actually, I'm really excited about the winter season. I think this is going to be one of the best like overall seasons in a while. Buddy daddies. Buddy daddies. <laughs> buddy daddies. Yeah. Yeah, we got buddy daddies coming up. Buddy daddies. Yeah, that that looks like a lot of fun. Um, Good lord, there's so many. Oh, Trigun Stampede. Yep. Um, we've got, let's see, around 50 total. I think 30 of them are hitting Crunchyroll, about 10 are hitting High Dive, and a few others around Netflix and other places. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, you got any news for anime? Oh, yeah. yeah. I got a few, too. Um, Anya from Spy Family was voted the most popular anime character of 2022. 
And that's the daughter, right? That's the daughter. Okay. And I can see that she's all she's everywhere. Yeah. You you turn around and she she's there. Mm. And then um, watched a Netflix anime this week called uh, Romantic Killer. Yeah. Which was it's a reverse harem, where the girl has the harem. Yeah. Um, with a bunch of different boys, and it was, it, so basically she gets. All of her stuff taken away, her chocolate and her video games and her phone. Oh, how dare they? I, in order that she actually kind of gets forced into a relationship. Okay. She's got like this magical genie fairy godmother kind of thing doing this to her. Mm. And, and so, but, but she's like super resistant to the whole process. It, it's a comedy. Yeah. It's a comedy. I'm afraid it's going to be one of those where nothing actually develops. Because yes. the whole premise is her refusing to get into a romantic relationship with anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, so the premise is going to kind of keep the show from going anywhere. And we'll see. We'll That's, see. Yeah, that would... I, I did enjoy it, but I don't think season two is going to do much if they have a season two, which they, yeah. they built it up to. Yeah, they we'll probably see. will. Good old Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's all the anime news I got. All right, well, we got our first look at Maria Renard in the new Castlevania anime coming to Netflix, Very which cool. I'm, I'm super excited about. Uh, new Demon Slayer movie is coming out in March of 2023. Mm. Did you finish season three? I have not. Oh, it, well, I enjoyed the first three episodes. Uh, for me, episodes four through the ending were just kind of filler because it was really just the extended fight scene. Yeah. Uh, but I really enjoyed the first three episodes of that. Okay. Uh, also, Netflix is planning an anime version of Stranger Things. Oh, okay. Which I think it's called Stranger Things Tokyo, and it had a anime version of Eddie Munson drawn. So hmm. I thought it was. I, it might be. It might be cool. They, they yeah, could. I'll, it could be cool. It could be. I'll check it out. Netflix has really surprised me with their anime. I mean, between Arcane and uh, Cyberpunk yeah. twenty seventy seven. I got to check all their anime out now because <clears throat> some of the best stuff that I, I've watched over the past year has been there. So yeah. All right, should we move into video games? Oh hell yeah! All right, let's do it. Video games. All right, so I've been playing. Well, okay, so I had High on Life uh, installed, yeah. ready to go because I wanted to give that one a shot, and then I've been reading all these articles about how he used a bunch of AI artwork. Oh um, yeah, to do it so. I played it. You did you? Yeah. Yeah, I just I decided I'm not going to. I I don't think you're missing too much. Yeah. Um it was uh, it was like watching a Rick and Morty episode with the humor and stuff, which was decent, but I can't binge Rick and Morty. Mm-hmm. So after about 30 minutes or an hour, I I would get kind of tired of it. Mhm. But it is well put together. Yeah, I mean the actual mechanics and everything are well put together. It's got a little too much platform puzzle for a shooter for me. I, I wish it had scaled back a little bit on that, but it's right. it's got a lot of puzzle platforming, and and uh, ultimately that was kind of why I lost interest with it. Just kind of uh, just tired of trying to figure out the next puzzle and where to go and yeah, I don't believe and all that. that. So yeah, high on high on life. All right, uh, Vampire Survivors. Oh, you finally cracked it open. Oh yeah, I've I've had it for a few weeks. I uh, so I got it on uh, mobile. Yeah, and okay. um, I, I, yeah, I've unlocked. I've done everything that you can in the game so far. So it was pretty fun. I know it, yeah. it's just one Three. of those. Uh, just one more run. Yeah. Just one. Just one more run. Yeah. I, the good thing about it is that it didn't have like on mobile side of things. It didn't have the ambush ads. Oh. It didn't have. Oh, yeah, well, like, like you just didn't have to deal with ads at all if you didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, I played it on Game Pass. Did you? Yeah, and I didn't have any of that issue. So. Yeah, I had it. I had it on the Xbox too, but I just like playing it on my phone. Oh, yeah. While I'm... yeah, you know me. I'm a. I'm a. It's a great one for the phone. Yeah. Um, you need to make sure you at least have thirty minutes. But, yeah. Well, I yeah. guess you could just pause it or whatever. But yeah. 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 I mean, it's good. Uh, Fortnite's Christmas was a little meh this meh. year. Um, but the 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 My Hero Academia skins that have come out. Really good, like they're really good. But the mythic, um, so they got the the oh god, what's his name? Da- Deku, Deku, Midoriya, his his okay. punch, the one for all. Oh, okay, punch. yeah, we'll mess you up. This one shot <laughs> kill for everybody. Everybody's bitching about it. it's terrible. 
Um, <laughs> I haven't played much of it. I, I maybe played a couple games, and I got destroyed by it at least once. Oh my and gosh. it was it was it was BS. Oh. Not a lie to you. The Kamehameha you could you could live through, but this you can't. Oh wow. What's up? What's up with that? This bullshit. Goku would whoop everybody. Vegeta will whoop everybody in <laughs> uh-huh. my hero. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I take. I take my. Yeah, never mind. Um. And then uh, yeah, uh, the the Samuel Jackson autograph Nick Fury for the Winterfest on Snap. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, ended up getting that. Probably never use it. I I think it'd be cooler if they would have just sent me one in real life. Yeah, Nick Fury might fit in a couple of decks, but um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's it's weird. It's it, like his ability is weird to bring you six or three six star or uh, yeah. six cost cards. Like it, there's so much up in the air. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's a lot of random with that, and you pretty much need to pair that with magic. But you need to play magic on turn five, so you can't mm. really play him. Yeah, so there's a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that yeah, that's all I've played actually. So what what have you played anything else? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. How's that? Oh man, it is I bet those graphics look incredible. Well, it's Lego. <laughs> <laughs> it is it, if you need a game to suck mm. up a hundred hours. That's the one? Yeah. 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 Cause you can play through the missions and you're basically watching all nine movies. That's a dangerous, dangerous game for me. Yeah. All the Lego games are very dangerous for me. And, and so, you know, you've, you've sucked up 30 hours there mm-hmm. just playing through the main missions. And yeah. then every level has, you can go back and get collectibles and yeah. all that stuff. So if you need a game that is suck up over a hundred hours, that's the one. this would be it. Yeah. Um, but very solid has the Lego stuff. You, I can see why people are like, this is a, a, good lego game to get if you want to get a lego game because there's just so much there mm-hmm. uh crisis core okay yeah that's the uh, one that. yeah yeah i played the first one on the psp mm. this mm. one is updated graphics but they haven't changed anything else yeah and so i just i don't normally play through games the second time and i got really tired of this one because i had been there before played it all before uh, not that it was bad, just that I'd been there before. Right. And so for somebody who likes Final Fantasy but ha- missed this one, get it. But um, if you played it before or if you're not a Final Fantasy fan, it's not for you. Does it feel next gen No, graphics? hell no. no. No, not even close. Oh. Because they they basically reskinned, re They didn't change, not like a remake. Final Fantasy VII Remake that's, was, yeah, was that's, a true remake. This yeah. is a remaster. Okay. So, pretty graphics, pretty er graphics, but definitely not next gen. Okay. Still plays the same way as the PSP. All right. Um, then I played some Evil West. Pretty solid shooter. Um, actually, you know, it it's not like AAA God of War kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's got enough there to enjoy. If you're looking for a shooter and you, you're just, nothing's on the, the horizon for you, this one is a good one to check out. Okay. Pretty pretty solid there. Uh, Potion Craft, which is just a little Game Pass thing where you're mixing herbs and selling them to people and just a very relaxed kind of... You don't want to you don't wanna like have a lot of action. Yeah, this is definitely one of those uh, kind of like sit back and just kind of chill for a bit, mixing some potions kind of game. Uh, Potion Craft was pretty cool. Potion Tender. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's all the stuff I've played. All right, let's move into the news. All right, so there were rumors of it long ago, but it looks like Microsoft has finally filed the patent to give you, uh, uh, personalized ads in games. Hmm. Fuck. I Interesting. hate it, dude. I hate it. Oh, well, yeah. Because yeah. I know, I think about 10 years ago, the rumors started flying about them, uh, patenting, uh, patenting, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm trying mm. to say. Unless the advertisements kind of baked in from the beginning structure as... Well, as... they could put, like, generic green screens in there or some yeah. shit, or, like, hmm. video we'll, we'll have to see how We'll have to keep an eye on this, see how it pans out. Yeah, I hope it's not over the top. God, I would hate it if it's over the top. Well, you know... Like, if it is billboards and shit, I wouldn't mind, because that's just that's kind of stuff that we're used to seeing yeah. in real life anyway. Yeah. But if it if the they pause your game like they were talking oh. about pausing your Ooh. like 
Like if you were in a Call of Duty match, they can pause your game and show you an ad. Oh. And now if they do it that oh, way, yeah, that, that, yeah, we'll have to see how this goes, see yeah. how this plays out. Um, HTC plans on revealing its MetaQuest competitor headset next month. Mm, okay. Um, and and speaking of which, there's there's so many VR headsets coming out uh, this year. Um, I would like if you're looking at them, I'd I'd probably hold off for a little bit oh. just to see kind of where the where the dust is going to settle. Uh, make sure you're buying the right the right thing. But yeah, there's a lot of a lot of VR stuff coming out. I mean, apparently the PlayStation one for the price is pretty good, yeah. um, but it's still six hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm tempted. I'm still t- I'm still kind of tempted. I don't know. Uh, Laura Croft is coming back in a bigger role than a in a in a game developed by Amazon of all, yes. all people. Yeah, I heard that Amazon picked up the uh, the Laura Croft, which it's been in limbo ever since uh, Square Enix sold off those studios. Mm. Um, and then once Embrasure Group got a hold of it, they they got rid of the studio that they just bought and basically had some of the talent move to other studios, like uh, combined to. Okay. And so they had the license for Tomb Raider and Limbo. Yeah. And so at least Amazon, who's needing something, is picking it up. Yeah. See, I think the studio that they combined is going to be working on Legacy of Kane. Wow. So, yeah. So you can't complain about that. No, I'm not going to yeah. complain about that at yeah. all. We've got Spider-Man 2 for PS5. will arrive fall of this year. Not this year, hopefully. next year. Next year. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, the Last of Us Part 3 is in the works. Okay. Midnight Suns has nude mods for the last, uh, 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 as of last week. Actually, probably a couple weeks ago. So if you're into that, <laughs> go get yourself some nude Ghost Rider. <laughs> it's all about the chain. Yeah. It's all about the length of Do the chain. Do your chain hang low. <laughs> <laughs> and is it on fire? <laughs> Uh, the special edition of Diablo 4 does not come with the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, another one of these uh, releasing a special edition without the game scenarios. Yeah. It's like, really, people? It's insane. I mean, come on. Uh, also, it looks like uh, Diablo 4 is going to have battle passes. Or, uh, what, did, what did I put there? Yeah, battle pass. I believe April is April or June is when it's coming out. Yeah, what do you, what do you, what do you think about that? Pass. It's one of those things where I think you have to actually go in and play it to see how I kind of how manipulative it is. I, I wish they had the seasons. I wish they'd bring the seasons back and stuff like they did in Diablo three. That way you can get all your custom uh um, yeah. your your uh what what am I trying to Yeah, I, I think we're just gonna have to wait to play it to see how yeah. how uh money grabby it is. I hope it's not bad. Yeah. God, yeah. I hope it's not bad. Surely they've learned their lesson by now. They probably haven't. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Microsoft is working to bring Call of Duty to the Switch, finally. Oh, cool. But I feel like the Switch is probably oh, on its God. way out. Oh, God. Man, it's got to be. Yeah. Because uh, there are so many games this year that it just did not have the power. To... Bayonetta, I wanted to enjoy it so much, but mm. the power of the Switch just kept me from, from doing it. It just was like, oh, this could... This could be so cool, but it's on the Switch. Well, and I can't believe they they released uh, Scarlet. What is it, Scarlet and Violet? The Pokemon oh yeah, games? and and they just did not run good at all. I was yeah. like, just threads of of bug videos on Reddit. It was crazy. Yeah, the Switch um, definitely needs an update. Yeah. Uh, did you 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 said you talked about the Game Awards last week? I I did, but what do you want to add? Uh, uh I was just excited about Armor Core Six. Oh so yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna do that. I said my kids are excited for the game too. I got them to watch the whole trailer and everything, and I put I cannot wait to WTF BBQ pwn them, and, <laughs> and I'm going to. Yes. Well, because you're experienced, you've played all the armor cores. Oh, yeah. Man, oh I have so too. Excited. Yeah, yeah. So excited. Uh, Hades two. Super excited about that. Yeah. If you haven't played Hades one, play it. It's it's worth a drop in. You can drop in and drop out. I mean, it's yeah. I've really pl- good game. I I played it for quite a while. I'm. It takes a really interesting rogue to tie me in, and that one was really good, but it didn't hold my interest for more than like five hours. Yeah, I play. I played a good bit of it, but hmm. just didn't finish it. Um, Transformers reactivate. I didn't want to talk about that one because I feel like that one that that looked cool. Yeah. Uh, Post apocalyptic Transformers game, co- uh, co-op online too. We in? 
I, I hope so. I have I, a Wii in. I, I'm down for some Transformers. Uh, and the, and the awards, I got to get to this. Oh, okay. Uh, Metal Hell Singer didn't win best score. That was disappointing. But having played God of War, yeah. I can see why they gave it to God of War. Yeah. I, I would have given it to Hell Singer first as well. But the music in God of War was Respect- really it was good. Pretty good. It was really good. Yeah. Um, Stray wasn't game of the year for them, but it was game of the year for me. And that's all that matters. Yeah, God of War was my game of the year. Mm. Um, it was honestly, and, and I wasn't upset about any of them winning game of the year. Yeah, um, I, no, I'm not really either. It, the fact okay. that Elden Ring won was kind of predictable, mm. but um, but God of War was just excellent. It, but if well, you're going, if titans. you're going, they were two titans clashing. <laughs> yeah, Crazy. yeah. If you're going to criticize God of War. Basically, the criticism is it's so much like the previous one, and yeah, that that's the most you can really criticize. Yeah, I don't, I, but I feel like that's a positive. Yeah, I know the, yeah. the previous one was so good. Yeah, so, yeah I, mean, I don't feel like yeah. I don't feel like that's a downfall. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I got for video game news. You got anything? Uh, let's see. We got some free stuff coming out. Oh hell yeah! Uh, Amazon uh, from December twenty seventh to January fourth, you can pick up. Uh, Dishonored 2, Metal Slug, three, uh, the Metal Slug series, X and 3, oh. uh, Fatal Fury, King of Fighters, uh, Last Blade, and um, SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. Damn. So all of that is free on Amazon for mm. this week. So pick up your goodies. Yeah, get your goodies. Yeah, I hope everybody has been picking up their free games from Epic because Epic has been giving a free game away um, every day for the last 15 days. Mm-hmm. Um, including um, uh, Death Stranding. Yeah, yeah, it's probably that. the big one. So, yeah, make sure you pick up your your big your games. I think it's got like one more day left in that. And those those are the free games that I uh, will have more epic free games coming up next week. We'll have more epic, more Amazon free games after January fourth. Okay. So, all right. And then the one game that I'm looking forward to next to play mm-hmm. is One Piece Odyssey. Yeah. It comes out on the 13th. Yeah. So that'll be the next uh, new game that I, I pick up and, and play. Yeah, that one looks pretty fun. Um, You want to hop into other? Yeah. Other people things. Okay, all, all I got for that is the cable statue. Ah. Um, ordered it. It's huge. It is, it is gigantic. The box. Is pro- you see that foam board box? Yeah. It's probably exactly that size. Dang. That's how big it was. Dang. Uh, hard to hide from the wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, didn't buy anything. No. It's super solid, though. Oh, yeah. um, it's held together by magnets, like really high-powered oh, okay. magnets. <laughs> um, and then uh, it's, a, it's a, a limited edition statue. So I've got two of them now. i got to nice. get two more to have heirlooms for the family. Um, but, oh, my God, dude. It's, it's so cool. Yeah, that is, is really that is cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, cables, uh... If you love a character, it's nice to have a, a, a statue like that. It really is. Yeah, if they if they, they have a couple of nice magic statues, mm-hmm. and the only reason I haven't bought one is because of the fact I don't really have a nice place to put it yet, because yeah. either my shelves are full, and I've still got a lot of work to do down here in the basement, so maybe once the basement's finished, I'll have a, a place for some mm-hmm. stuff. We'll see. Um, as far as uh, stuff coming out this week, we have... Magic on January 13th is getting their next Magic card set, Dominaria Remastered. It does not seem like it's been that long since their last release. Oh, people have complained so much about Magic's just massive release schedule. Yeah. So for 20-something years, they basically produced three boxes a year, mm-hmm. and that was it. For every four months, you'd get a new box, and, and that was still difficult to keep up with, but yeah. not impossible. But this year, they have put out eight sets and 52 special sets that you get online. Uh, Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. They are getting kind of... Yeah, the cash. Oh, yeah. They're... they're, Money grubbing. And I listen to their fireside chat, and they're basically like, you know what? If you don't want to buy something, don't buy it. We're just going to keep producing until people stop buying it. They, They even said... Just blank faced. We are looking at ways to get more money out of wallets. I I can't believe they said that. I mean, to it's the a public. good business plan. I mean, that is business. That, <laughs> but that, that's every business. But to actually say it to the public, 
we're looking at ways to get more money out of your wallet. <sighs> That's <laughs> bold. Um, oh, God. <laughs> it's bold. Yeah, so Magic had their biggest, uh, the, the 30th anniversary, $1,000, $250 a pack uh-huh. booster thing, which went down like a lead balloon. Um, everybody was upset about that. So Yu-Gi-Oh! had their answer. Yu-Gi-Oh!'s 25th anniversary is coming up. Yeah. And they their 25th anniversary box is going to be $30. It's going to have a pack, a reprinted pack of the first six editions, the first six booster Dang. sets. Okay. And it's going to be tournament legal. Oh, shit. I know. So Yu-Gi-Oh!'s answer to Magic's 30th anniversary $1,000 thing is yeah. like, you know what? We like our players. Mm-hmm. We're going to give the players exactly what they want. and as much. So not only that, so the anniversary box hits where you get a pack of everything, but they're going to reprint all six editions throughout the year where That's... you can pick up the original six Yu-Gi-Oh sets. That's crazy to me because uh, Konami has been... Um... They're like a gambling yeah, I know. company now. I know. Why yeah. wouldn't they why wouldn't they be the ones taking the exactly. magic road? Yeah, exactly. exactly. What kind of timeline do we oh, live in? I don't know. It's it's weird. But it's so that's that's the news. I huh, I'm tempted to jump over and play some Yu Gi Oh. I you know I what? Know. <laughs> don't don't tempt me with a good time, JD. <laughs> uh yeah, and that's uh, that's all the new stuff. I, I saw a block a black luster soldier. Uh, hoodie. Oh. I almost bought that. Oh man, I almost bought it because that—that's the card I built my deck around. Oh okay. Oh man. Oh yeah. Anyway, uh, you got anything else? Uh, w- I'm ready for rumors. Let's get into the rumor mill. The rumor mill. All right. So, Nova will be a movie and not a series. Okay. So we play the movie game where we give oh, yeah. uh, the movies a number. Uh, the the rumor. The rumor a number, and based on on how uh, likely we think it'll happen, and then we give it a how much we want it to happen. Number. Yeah. So Nova will be uh, a movie instead of a special television presentation type deal on Disney Plus. I I think with that statement, that kind of goes along with the whole quality over quantity statement. Um, and so I think it's still early enough in the the planning stages where they could do that. Okay. So I I think seven. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's a safe bet. Um. I like Nova. I feel like they drop a lot more money on movie than they do television for the for the time allotment. Yeah, probably. So, um, do I want it to happen? Ten, because I like Nova. Yeah, me, I could TV or movie. I don't really have a preference. I, no, I do. I, I would actually rather it be a TV show just because I don't like going to the movie theaters these days. Yeah. Um. So I will say, uh, as far as l- I'll still watch it regardless. I right. still want it to happen. Um, I would like to see a, a Nova thing, but I, I, I would probably rather it be a TV series. Okay. Yeah. But it's not a big thing. Yeah. So what else we got? Uh, Chloe Bennett from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is yeah. coming back as Quake to the MCU. Rumors say uh, it's going to be in the Secret Invasion show. Or she's going to be in the Super the Secret Invasion show. Oh, that's interesting. Because they've kind of stayed away from the ABC uh, Shield series as far as timeline, yeah, continuity. So yeah, she was actually very vocal about how pissed off she was about mm-hmm. it. Yeah, so why would they change that? Why would they all of a sudden make Shield the ABC Shield? It part could of the be MCU? the whole multiverse thing. Yeah, that's that's kind of I think if if she does show up, it's mm-hmm. going to be like the whole multiverse. Professor Xavier, Mr. Fantastic that we got before, where it's yeah. going to be just, uh, she comes from another reality and she's probably gone just as fast. Yeah. I'd love to see her stick around. I would too. But I, I don't, since she's, if she's, if she was going to stick around, I think they would base the show more on her Yeah. instead of it being Secret Invasion. But since it is the or Secret maybe. Invasion series where we're going to have, Monica Rambo, I think, is going to be the lead, as well as Nick Fury and Coldy Smol- Smolders. Um, I don't see her sticking around, but okay. maybe I could be proven wrong. Hopefully, yeah, I hope Who so knows? too. I'd like to see her. I'd like to see her in there. Mm. What do you think? Uh, likelihood, I'm going to give it low, like a three. Okay. I'm not... <sighs> likelihood. I'm kind of iffy, so I was going. I was leaning towards five. Uh, mid mid road. I liked her. She was my oh, favorite yeah. part about the Agents of Shield. Yeah. Uh, so I'll probably give it a seven, eight for whatever. But do I you want. just want to see her for a brief moment? 
Not really. Yeah. I'd like I'd like for her to be a, a solid part of it. And uh, maybe she will. MCU maybe moving she forward. Will. Yeah, who knows. Yeah. Um the cele- okay, this 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 got me super excited. This All rumor. Right. Okay. The Celestial Tiamat uh will become an island and the source of adamantium in the MCU. And that's the Celestial uh, from the Eternals. Interesting. Now, adamantium will be more valuable than vibranium. Okay. And it's so valuable that countries will go to war for it. Hmm. Now later, uh, later the island will become Genosha. Oh, so if you're a, if you're oh. a fan of the mutants, interesting. This is a massive leak. So I don't know. I don't know if it's you know true. Take it with a grain of salt. That's why it's in the rumors. But I was super excited about this one. I, I anything that is going to bring the X Men in is super exciting. But I'm just trying to figure out if that's the way I think it's going to happen. Oh, it's so hard to. You know, what they could do is I'm still leaning to them bringing in the X-Men during Secret Wars. Mm -hmm. And if they do the whole combining different parts of different multiverses, they could bring that island in as the X-Men part Mm -hmm. to Secret Wars. And I think if it's in Secret Wars, that's likely to happen. Okay, But I can't see them doing it with anything else in the current timeline other than Secret Wars. So I'm going to give it a three again, where I don't think that's going to happen. All right, since Tiamat's already kind of there, yeah, I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a six because I really, really, really want it oh, to I, happen. No, I want it to happen. I'm going to give it. I want it to happen <laughs> as seven because I yeah. think there are cooler ways they could bring in the X Men, but uh, I, I still want it to happen. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm probably gonna I'll probably give it about an eight because I like I like the whole Genosha. I've never been so excited for mutant slavery than I have been <laughs> when I heard this rumor. I never thought, I never thought, yeah. <laughs> oh man, the Genosha storyline. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Genosha, definitely that's a, a it's a big part of the X-Men storyline, a, a great part yeah. of X-Men history oh, right yeah. there. Okay, the last rumor I got, uh, Sentry will reportedly be a member of the Thunderbolts in the okay. movie, um, and slowly start to hear voices that turn him bad okay. and bring out the void. Um, Val... Uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus, Louise yeah. Dreyfus, uh, she is actually a big part on turning him into Sentry, uh, giving him the Sentry serum. Mm. And uh, blah, 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 the, the Thunderbolt, the Thunderbolts at some point, and I'm not sure if it's going to be in the upcoming movie, are going to be included in that war over Tiamat Island. Interesting. Yeah. So that I mean, the, like now the rumors are starting to like mesh together. Maybe I. I'm not buying it though. I'm not buying this one. You don't buy it? No. You still don't think Sentry's gonna be a part no, of it? I do not think Sentry's gonna be a part of it. I hope he is. Oh yeah, me too. I think if they they He's yeah. got see, I like him more than Wonder Man because he's flawed. Yeah. yeah. He's he's super powered, but he's got major flaws. Mm-hmm. Where Wonder Man seems very white bread. Yeah. He's got nuts. Wonder bread. <laughs> he's got nuts. He's got nuts. <laughs> he's got a million nuts. Raging fiery sun nuts is the century. <laughs> he's got nuts. Oh, that's the that's the opening for this episode. Wonder Man is white bread, Wonder Bread. And and Century's got flaming sun nuts. A million of them. Oh my God. All right, so you're you're obviously going to give that a really low one. No, just just a one. Okay. If it happens, I'll be super surprised. Uh, man, the 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 rumors getting traction, and the leaks. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm going to give it a, probably a seven. I think okay. it might happen. That's that's the first time we've been so far apart. I know. On I know. Something. We are far apart on this one. Uh, did you want it to happen? Really, Sentry, I, he could have his own movie. I think. Yeah. Um, I would hate to see him just as like a little side piece. This is side piece. <laughs> With all of his nuts. <laughs> Sentry, the side piece with the nuts. Oh my god. <coughs> with all his nuts. <coughs> oh my god. Um, oh my god, you derailed me. I don't know where I was going. I was going to talk about something. Oh, people are fan casting Aaron Eckhart as him too. See, now I think the last rumor you said is Henry Cavill. Yeah, I, th- I think so. Yeah, last rumor we had was Cavill. Yeah. Um, and we, of course, said, with, with uh, me saying that he's not coming in yet, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was reading the Reddit comments about it, so yeah, that's uh, that's all they said. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give it a seven for likelihood. Okay. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a ten because I feel like it could lead into a, a spinoff movie for him. 
Um, Maybe. Depending on how his character's received. Uh yeah, you you don't look like you're buying it at all. <laughs> no, you don't. Not. Yeah, you don't look like you're into it. All right. Uh, and I love I the Sentry, you yeah. know, but I just don't see it. Happening. I still I still have no idea who he is. Besides running like reading up on him online, hearing about him on Reddit, reading up on him online, and then encountering his card on uh, Snap oh, a few times. Yeah, that's all I really know about him. But I, like from what I read, he's really cool. Yeah. I would love to love to I- I- explore his his character. Definitely, more. definitely. Well. Well, this has been Ogre. Yeah, Old Guys Geekly Review, episode 24. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, Century. Cool. And I've got the comic that you want to read. Yeah. I, I like them.